Imagine a world of absolute silence, no air, no sound, just the vast empty quiet of space. This is the lunar surface, stark, beautiful, and covered in ancient powdery dust. The ground is rugged, dotted with craters and hidden boulders. Every landing is a challenge. For any spacecraft, the final descent is a high-stakes dance between rocket engines and lunar gravity. The engines must slow the craft from thousands of miles per hour to a gentle touchdown. There are no second chances. One miscalculation, and the mission could end in disaster. The spacecraft must analyze the terrain in real time, searching for a safe, flat spot. For SpaceX's Starship, the challenge is even greater. This is no lightweight lander but a massive, skyscraper-sized ship. Its engines and landing systems must handle unprecedented weight and unpredictable ground. The silence of the moon will be shattered by the roar of Raptor engines, but the final moments are a tense ballet as Starship settles onto ancient dust. The world will watch, holding its breath, as we attempt not just to visit, but to establish a foothold on another world. This landing is the first step in a much larger journey, proving we can deliver people and supplies to turn science fiction into science fact. The moon is waiting, ready to test our greatest creation. The next era of exploration begins with a single, perfect landing. When it comes to landing on the moon, the real heroes are the landing legs. Their job, absorb the force of touchdown and keep the vehicle stable on alien ground. Imagine balancing a tall, heavy pencil on a rocky beach. That's the challenge for Starship's legs. If one leg lands on a rock and another in soft dust, the entire ship could tilt dangerously. The legs must be strong, smart, and able to adjust to whatever terrain they encounter. For the crew, a stable landing means safety and the chance to begin their work. Designing these legs is a safety imperative. They need powerful shock absorbers and a wide stance to prevent tipping. Each leg is a masterpiece of engineering, built to withstand the vacuum, extreme temperatures, and brutal force of lunar landing. SpaceX has mastered landing rockets on Earth, but the moon is a different world. Falcon 9's legs are simple, designed for flat, prepared surfaces. The lunar surface is wild, no concrete, just dust, rocks, and slopes. Starship's legs must be robust and adaptable, more like an all-terrain vehicle than a simple rocket. Instead of four small legs, Lunar Starship has six large, complex ones for a wider, more stable base. Each leg features advanced shock absorbers, ready for unpredictable ground. The difference is like landing a small plane versus a giant mining truck. Everything is on a new scale. Starship's legs must also survive the vacuum and abrasive lunar dust for weeks, not minutes. SpaceX couldn't just scale up Falcon 9's design. They had to invent a new landing system for the moon's harsh realities. Every detail, from materials to mechanics, is reimagined for survival on the lunar surface. The result? A landing system built for the unknown. Safety is everything when sending astronauts to the moon. NASA, with decades of experience, scrutinized every detail of Starship's design. Early concepts use small, high-mounted legs, fine for Earth risky for the moon. NASA flagged two big issues, not enough stability, and a crew hatch dangerously high above the surface. A long elevator ride to the ground was an unnecessary risk. What if it failed? NASA pushed for a wider, lower, more stable landing system. SpaceX responded with six dedicated legs at the base, each able to auto-level on uneven ground. The new design creates a broad, stable footprint and safer, easier access for astronauts. This collaboration between SpaceX's innovation and NASA's safety focus produced a robust, astronaut-friendly lander. The result? A vehicle ready for real lunar exploration. You can't hope a new landing leg works, you have to prove it. Every system on Lunar Starship is tested and retested on Earth before astronauts ever fly. SpaceX uses drop tests, full-scale legs are dropped onto surfaces mimicking lunar soil. Engineers study how shock absorbers handle impact, and how footpads interact with powdery regolith. Tests include angled drops and artificial rocks to simulate real lunar hazards. High-speed cameras and sensors capture every detail for analysis and refinement. Digital simulations model thousands of landing scenarios, revealing weaknesses and guiding improvements. Combining physical and virtual tests, SpaceX builds confidence that their landing legs are ready for the moon. Landing humans on the moon with Starship is a step-by-step -step journey. It starts with uncrewed test missions. Starship will fly to the moon, orbit, and attempt a full landing. This is the ultimate test navigation engines and landing legs must all work flawlessly. Success means green light for the next phase. 
Artemis III, astronauts will launch in NASA's Orion, transfer to lunar starship in lunar orbit, and descend to the moon's south pole. This mission will return humans to the lunar surface for the first time in over 50 years. The goals, demonstrate new capabilities, collect samples from shadowed regions, and search for water ice. Astronauts will deploy advanced instruments and study the unique geology of the South Pole. Artemis III isn't just a repeat of Apollo, it's the first step toward living and working on another world. A sustainable human presence on the moon begins with these first footprints. Why return to the moon? For SpaceX and the space community, it's a training ground, a stepping stone to Mars. Every challenge we solve on the moon prepares us for the far greater leap to the red planet. Mars landings will require complex propulsive maneuvers, just like the moon, but with even higher stakes. The moon lets us test life support, resource extraction and radiation protection, skills we'll need on Mars. If we can live off the land on the moon, we can do it on Mars. The return to the moon with Starship is about building a reusable, reliable system for exploring the solar system. By learning to walk on the moon again, we prepare for our first steps on Mars.